And Thomas Smith joins us today. He will be the guest speaker for this month, Sin Law Authors Club meeting. Thomas, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning to you. Well, tell us a little bit about your experience as an author. Well, I'm a retired educator, and I started writing way back in the 1980s. Didn't publish anything. Then whenever they restructured the college I was working in in Michigan, I, sat, I decided to look up in the attic to find what I had started. And so after so many years, then I went into to, uh, writing and self-publishing. We were uh, had lived in uh, of oils before we moved to Michigan 18 years ago. We've been back in Louisiana for about a year. And I started going to the Authors Club you know, probably last November. Uh, I want to emphasize that the Authors Club is open and we invite anyone, anyone who's written, anyone who wants to write, anyone who ever thinks he will want to write. And it's free. There are no, there's no membership dues. There is no registration. It's, uh, this meeting will be Thursday night at 6 o'clock at the West uh, Side Regional Library. And we hope people will drop in and visit with us and learn something. And as always, Michael Wynn has door prizes, which are, <laughs> yes, you guessed it, books. Great, great. Well, it's always a great time, and yes, Michael sure does know how to go to put on a good uh, Authors Club meeting, definitely. Um, but, uh, you know, you did teach here locally. Tell me what schools you taught at. I either taught or was an administrator in a Voss Parish at a number of schools for 33 years. Started at Hesmer High. I was the last principal of Lafargue High School, like when it was K through 12. I was an assistant principal at Riverside Elementary, assistant uh, principal at Hesper for a while, a teacher there, principal at Bunky for a year, uh, principal, as I said, at the last principal of Lafargue High for a year, uh, an assistant principal in Bunky High School the year after the consolidation, and I have taught for uh, Northwestern and for LSUA here and also w one class for Central Texas College when the Indian Casino was having the air their education program through them. Wow, so you have, I'm sure, a lot of former students here in the Central Louisiana region. Yes, I do. <laughs> Who I'm sure would be very excited to, uh, to read some of your books too, and you were telling me it's a series. Yes, I have a series of books and that's what I'm going to share with the uh, people who go to the Authors Club to share how I went about writing that series of books. Uh, one book uh, is a collection of different genres and it includes some poetry and because one of the members of the Writers Club commented to me about when she was a, a critiquer for poetry on the internet, she said she loved the poems that were had rhythm, kind of like songs. And so I'm going to briefly go over some uh, uh, poetic terms and um, like metrical feet, iambic pentometer, and some other terms there to help people improve because I think most of the time these days we're using free verse which is unrhymed and uh, unmetered except by voice extension or what they want to emphasize. So we want to look at a way to jazz things up and as an old-fashioned traditional English teacher I had some courses about that. I did some teaching about that. And even though I'm retired, I'm still a teacher at heart. So hopefully people coming to the author's meeting who are interested in poetry can find something interesting for them there. And then I'll talk about writing fiction as well. Fantastic. Now tell me, what's one of your favorite things about writing a book? Uh, obviously completing it <laughs> <laughs> and having the satisfaction of knowing that I have continued to do something and useful in my retirement. And one of the things that I'm going to share with the uh, group two at the meeting is how I look for characters to populate my novel series and anything else that I write. And uh, things that I do uh, would be, first, I have to do some research. If I write historical fiction, I have to go to some places if I can. And one of the places that I have as a, uh, a site, a location in my books is McRaven House in Vicksburg. And it has helped me with populating some characters and with advancing the plot just by going and seeing the place. Obviously, there's a lot of research one has to do 
if you're going to uh, look at the historical fiction, but any fiction populating characters can go the same way. For example, one of my favorite characters is called Miss Tree. Miss Tree was a worker at a KFC in Michigan, near where I lived. And being a southerner and a teacher, I began talking with her while waiting for my order. And she told me how she got her name. And it was when she was a baby, and she still goes by that name. Wow. Uh, so I look for people who are in interesting and who have an interesting quality, and those inspire characters. Uh, I don't say the character reflects the exact person, but I kind of use that putting the character in there as a salute to those individuals because they impressed me one way or another. That's fantastic, and I'm sure you have a lot more advice, too, to give at the Authors Club meeting on Thursday. Remind us where it is and what time everything kicks off. It's 6 p.m. the West Side Regional Library, and everyone is invited. It's free, no registration. Just come on in and join us and, and meet with cordial friends and mentors and other people who are in, as interested in you as they are in their own writing. Fantastic. Well, thank you for coming on the show and telling us all about your work. We appreciate it so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Of course. And we'll be right back with more Good Day Sin Law right after this break.